channel and welcome to another video where we are doing a DIY that involves plants. I have a succulent here that we are going to put in a mug along with some river rocks, some other rocks I found on the yard, and some lava rocks. We're also going to be planting some vegetable seeds, but we're going to be doing them inside of an egg carton. And I've been seeing this on Pinterest and I've been wanting to try it. I had an empty egg carton, so we're gonna do that today. I also have my little happy helper. This is... Haru. Haru, the happy helper. I also have gloves, even though I don't really like using gloves. So my hands are all messed up. But I have my gloves handy with me. Got my shovel. I got my potting mixes behind me. And we're ready to start. Are you ready to start? Hi, making us out here. All right, so let's begin. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the video. And the first thing we're gonna do is our succulent in a mug. Cause I thought it would be really cute to do. My sister got me this mug and it just says, Plays with dirt. It's really cute. All right, so we're gonna start off with the mug, and if you can, you should drill a hole in the bottom, and that will definitely help with drainage. But I'm not gonna go do that. I'm just gonna use my rocks, and I have some lava rocks, which I like to use especially for planting veggies in pots. But I'm gonna use some here, and I have a couple, and I'm not gonna use anything too big. Just really small, like medium sized. I also found some really nice river rocks that I've been collecting every time we go up to the beach and stuff. And then there's some little stones and things I just found out in the yard. That'll help. And I'm just gonna put all those right into the bottom of my mug. If you have charcoal, that would help also uh, layer that over the rock. All right, so I have my mug filled up and I'm ready for some soil. All right, well, okay, what I'm gonna do is break this up. Okay, so we made a bit of a mess, but we got it done. This is the end result. All right, so now it's time to start with the veggies in the egg carton. And for this, I'm just gonna go get my potting mix and I'm gonna uh, kind of dampen the soil up already a little bit. I'm gonna place the soil into the egg carton and then I'm going to, you know, make a little, a little indent and put the seeds in them and just cover it up. And that should be really good to go. Really simple, really easy, really quick. All right, so for the egg carton plants, I'm going to use a special seed starting potting mix because we're growing them from seeds and it's going to, you know, take a little bit of time for the roots to develop and for the plants to just grow and this helps. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some of that mix into my bowl, put some water in it, get it a little wet. Can I help out me? So I'm putting it into the bowl. Now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it, you know, in each of my little pods that I have. You could die if you lick your fingers. So I have my pods filled up now. 
And all I'm going to do is make a little indent in them, and then we can start putting the seeds in there. Mom, how about me? Wear gloves. All right, so now that we have the soil in the egg carton, what I'm going to do is make my indents, and I have little toothpicks for those, and I'm just really going to make just really small indents. Okay, so now over here we're going to put in our sweet peppers. I'm going to put a little bit more of the soil on top. All right, and that's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I have my little plant here and I made little notes for them. I have my summer squash, my sweet peppers. I just put the date that I planted it along with the days to harvest in the back. I have my succulent in my mug and he should be okay for a while. You only need to really water it every, once every two weeks. And I also have my spritzer, which is actually pretty new. You can see this. And I love this hey spritzer. It makes it so I don't overwater. I just spritz right over my plants. And I got this from Target online. And I'll put the link below if you want it because it is really handy. So if you guys like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and leave some comments or suggestions below. There is still a lot of planning I want to get done and a lot of videos that I'm hoping to film. But that's it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah.